Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to another week. I know it has been a minute and I can only apologise for that. I don't really have any good excuses, it's just that December has been so so busy for us. Obviously it's like pretty much the busiest time of the year for candle makers so I literally just like kept picking up the camera and trying to vlog and then just getting too busy. So it's actually the end of the month. It's been a long time since I've even picked up the camera. It feels really strange. But yeah, it is New Year's Eve Eve today. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what day of the week it is. It's like that lull between Christmas and New Year's where it's just like, you don't know what's going on. Um, but it is Thursday. Um, so this vlog is gonna be a little bit different, but I did want to just get back on the bandwagon um, and go into 2022 on the right foot, as it were. So yes, we have basically just popped in today to get a couple of things done. Gordon's just away at his shop down the road, um, doing some things there. But yeah, we actually finished up here for Christmas on the 23rd and then Gordon finished up for work on Christmas Eve. So it was kind of like just completely mental until like the final hour. And then obviously over Christmas, we were just kind of wanting to chill out and spend time with family. And yeah, it was great. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate it um, or just kind of holidays if not. So obviously the last time I went to the post office was the 23rd I believe and we have had some orders come in kind of since then while we've been at home. I don't think there's too many, only like 10 or 12 I think. I'm going to just get those printed off and packed up um, and then we will drop them off today because I believe the post office is shut tomorrow on New Year's Eve. It's definitely shut New Year's Day and the 2nd, but we are actually going to be away from the 2nd anyway because we are actually going on holiday. <laughs> well, within the UK, but um, still, we've not actually taken, like, I only realised this recently, but we've not actually had, like, more than a couple of days off um, this year, which... It's fine because we've been, you know, we've achieved a lot, but still I think it's important to take some time off. Um, so yeah, we're just going to make the most of kind of the quieter spell in January when I think a lot of businesses kind of shut for a bit anyway to kind of recharge. So we are going to go down to the Lake District um, for just short of a week. Um, and yeah, I'm actually so excited. It's just an Airbnb that we've got booked, um, but it does have a hot tub and it's just like really remote and off the beaten track. Um, and yeah, I think it should be good. And then we don't actually come back to work until officially, I said the 10th. I mean, I think we'll be back from the lakes on the 8th, 8th of January, I think it is, yeah. So who knows if, you know, if we've had a lot of orders to, I might come in earlier, I don't know, I might just be like, I need to get to work, like after so long away. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Officially I've told people it's the 10th um, because we don't actually, when we, in the past, when we've gone away, we don't actually close the website. We just um, obviously let like all of our customers know on social media, we'll be away, you know, orders won't be shipped until our return because um, we're a two-man band. And yeah, also put a banner on the website for anyone that doesn't follow us on social media. How dare they? But if they don't, then, you know, they'll see if they want to order, they'll come onto the website and right at the top will say, um, we're currently away, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to pack my orders just now. And if I have time, I might finish off these candles as well that I poured really quickly just before I left. So they've just been chilling out here for a week. And yeah, I'd quite like to get them away. They're my babies. I've been waiting for these for about five months. And I had three pallets arrive. Yep. When we were actually broken up, but I felt the need to come down and let the courier in. I was so excited. I left Georgina waiting in the car with the dogs. 
so that I could unwrap the palette and see. Do you want my... to explain what it is? They're branded boxes for wholesale. Hashtag branding. Yes. Yeah, we can't afford to brand it all the boxes. <laughs> no. So inside you fit six candles. <laughs> Exciting. Exciting. Thank you. Goodbye, Ken Ross. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday today and Happy New Year. I realise I've not vlogged since um, New Year's Eve Eve. So yes, it is 2022. As you can probably tell from the background, we are now in the Lake District. We got down here late on Sunday um, and yesterday we were just kind of like finding our bearings, um, went for a nice little walk and went for lunch as well to a local pub which was really good we're only here till friday um but yeah we've literally had such a good time already just chilling and we've been in the hot tub um every night as well which has just been so nice and the dogs love it here as well so we are having a fab time gordon's just getting ready for the day and then we will be heading off for our walk i am also doing 5k a day this month as well which um, if you know me personally, then you'll know that that is <laughs> so out of my comfort zone. Um, so it's one of those where you either um, walk, run, cycle or swim 5k every day in the month of January and I'm doing it to raise funds for Strathcarran Hospice, which is an amazing cause and it's really personal to me. Um, my dad was looked after there before he passed away in 2009 and they did such an amazing job um, and they obviously rely on thousands of pounds every day to keep the place running and staffed and everything like that so I think someone heard the W word <laughs> if you do want a little Airbnb tour then here it is so this is like a converted barn setting so I think that's stables over there that's um, the Bothy so these are all separate Airbnbs and this is ours, which is called the cart shed. Um, so we've got a little living room set up here, um, a little dining table here, which is pretty much for us at the moment, just set up with dog walking stuff and jackets and boots and all the rest of it, but that's fine. We've got a lovely log burner here, which we've been enjoying every night, um, literally from like <laughs> four o'clock till we go to bed. Um, we are gonna have to pick up some more logs today. TV, another dog, crate for pepper at night and a little kitchen which has got everything that we need in it um bathroom and boot room there and then we come up the stairs and the whole place has got underfloor heating as well which is amazing um we've got two bedrooms on either side here bed's not made so i'm not going to show you that but um they're just pretty ordinary bedrooms to be honest and then come out here watch it, it's icy <laughs> we have our own little private um decking area here and then there's a walk up there which is quite nice and of course the hot tub um which was one of the main reasons we booked this place
So we've just left Airbnb. Uh, what time is it? Half nine. Time to start the journey home and we're gonna have to charge the car twice. Yeah, we're gonna stop at Whitehaven in like 20 miles and then... Gretna Green. Gretna Green. Yeah. So they've got fancy fast chargers. Yes, which are also super expensive. And also Burger King. Yes. I'll see you much, much later. Back to Scotland. Can you tell? <laughs> like, who's the worst person that you've interviewed or worst? What are you Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> are they okay? Oh, there's a dog. Oh no. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. And we're back. Hi guys, it's Monday and I'm officially back at work after, what, just over two weeks off. Um, it feels kind of weird to be back actually, but also good. Like, I feel like I'm ready to... Party! I think taking that extra time off after Christmas and going away for New Year's was just like the best start to... 2022. First things first today, I'm going to give the place a really good clean and tidy, mostly tidying because I just feel like the place really needs properly organised. Um, now that Christmas is out of the way, um, I'm going to basically rejig our Calyx storage here um, because the way that I have it set up at the moment, I've got kind of like my three best sellers here, then all the Christmas fragrances here um, and then kind of like other fragrances and more summery fragrances down there as well. Um, and I know it's still January but we are obviously running down the kind of Christmassy fragrances so I'm not making any more of those products. So yeah I think it makes more sense to obviously get them all down there. So this is what it's looking like right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's definitely not the worst it's ever looked in terms of like mess and disorganisation but it could be better. So I think first day back calls for getting all of this away, everything where it should be in its rightful place and yeah and then I am probably going to um, get on my laptop and do some kind of admin things, uh, reply to some emails have come in and also have a look at our stock levels um, on Shopify and see what we're gonna need to make kind of most urgently because we did have quite a few wholesale orders come in like in the last week or so, which is quite nice because we weren't really expecting, you know, any orders at all. We were just obviously on holiday, not really kind of like sending out emails or anything like that. And obviously with it being January, you know, most people are very quiet this time of year so but yeah it's good to see that obviously the stockists that have put in orders um, in the last few days you know that they've obviously done well with us over Christmas and they want to get stocked up again. It's nice to come back to actually having orders to put out because it kind of like gives you a bit of <laughs> a kick up the butt that I think we all probably need at this time of year. I'm gonna go get myself coffee and get cracking.
Hello guys, it's much later on now, um, but I have just been doing some emails and ordering some supplies of some things that we are running low on. Um, but I don't know if you can tell behind me here, but it's looking so much better. I'm not gonna say that it's perfect, but it's better. There might be some more things that I do tomorrow. All of this is pretty much clear behind me. I've just got some of my wee um, doodahs, wick tool things. Um, which I have cleaned so they're just sitting there drying for now um, kind of given that a bit of a reshuffle oh this is looking much clearer and then my pride and joy so this has just been like a mess pretty much since we put this unit up um, admittedly but now I've got them all organized neatly into trays so each tray obviously has its own fragrance and it's all in alphabetical order as well um, which is just my OCD right now is like. So yeah, this should make it much easier for anyone who needs to come and get labels. It'll just be a case of grabbing the tray that they need. So I'm very happy with that. And then obviously you saw me reorganizing the Calax units, which I think are looking much better. Again, not perfect, but a hell of a lot better than they were when I walked in this morning and yeah just need to get them all stocked up now. But yeah I think I am going to leave it there for this week's vlog. I know it's been a bit higgledy-piggledy and I can only apologize for that and obviously the delay in getting this up um but yeah just being on holiday and everything is just it's just yeah <laughs> it is what it is. Also side note and I know this is bad because I think last time I put a vlog up I was like oh my god I can't believe we've reached 5,000 subscribers, I think it was, but we've reached 7,000 subscribers. So that's amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and is following us along on our journey. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, and obviously, please do help me out with the algorithm. I'm gonna say it like, please. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, if you are happy to see us back, in the YouTube world, then please do obviously give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. That would be fab. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.